hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel i wonder you all know who this man is look at him very closely we're gonna be talking about him because he's been talking about somebody else that he was employed by ah if y'all like watching attorney type shows judges judge shows y'all should really recognize this man but thank you for coming over to the channel Dale chanel's 48th world okay that shirt should give you an idea a clue yep me and herman Herm, Kermit the Frog waiting on you to see if y'all recognize who this man is because he's raising pretty natural hell out there in the social media platform and he's going to every talk show that will have him to embarrass Judge Judy Child. His name is Petrie Hawkins Bird, okay? The former bailiff for Judge Judy and that is his wife and I think she was also his PR person and manager or whatnot, because I think she was the one that made him come out or insisted that he come out and put Judge Judy on blast because he didn't follow her on her other syndicated show. She's going to be doing the same thing, um, but she didn't invite her bailiff that has been at least 25 plus years with her on her show judge judy okay like both of them are, oh my goodness and you can see it on both sides you know she could just wanted somebody fresh and the more she makes she don't want to have to be divvying it out on staff you know what i'm saying so bird was probably making a truckload of money off her. I mean, he was doing his job faithfully, being there, every taping, rain, snow, sleet or shine, uh, bad weather, hurricanes coming in, tornado storm, or whatever. He was there for the taping of the show. And it seemed like they had a very good relationship, very good camaraderie towards one another. But that's her new bailiff. Ain't nothing changed still. Well, Bird ain't got no bald head, but this young man is handsome. He's younger. And um, he probably kind of reminds, his name is Kevin Roscoe, okay? He's featured on her new show that's being premiered on IDMB something network. Yeah, that's what I said, uh, Kat. She traded him in for a younger model. That's what it seems to me, okay? But this story broke out when I first heard about it. It was when The Real um, had had him on their platform. And they were talking about, you know, just Judy, the new show, how he's doing this, that, and the third. And he was bringing out some true gems. He was shining. He was putting um, just Judy down. I mean, we always knew she was uh, bossy and uh, very much so opinionated and didn't let nobody talk. I mean, shit, if I had to go against George Judy, I wouldn't say nothing either. I wouldn't say nothing that I was spoken to because she just was put you on blast, shade you, and then uh, make you feel less than a person. I thought, like, uh-uh. That's okay. I ain't out. I, 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 I won't. No, she ain't got to try my case. I just go to the regular courthouse <laughs> and deal with the regular judges. And Bailiff, so I ain't got time to fool with George Jude. And she making a fool out of me. But it seems like she should be tired of doing the show herself. Because it's been a long, long road that they've been doing this thing. He should be tired himself. Go into retirement. But I guess that money's making them and, them ain't, and they ain't making the money. Because it's ridiculous. And better yet, Bert, why don't you, have you not found something else for you and your wife to do? I mean, you had retired from the police force uh, way back when and when you got on Judge Judy's show. And you've been there 25 plus years with her. I mean, it can't be the money. Because then that ain't Judge Judy's problem because you didn't invest well or you didn't put your money where it needed to go in case this thing with the whole uh show didn't work out you know what i'm saying so i don't know seem like uh P mr hawkins bird is just trying to bite too much off that he's already been fed to me 
you know, because he even said when he was being uh, interviewed by the women on The View that, um, or was it The Real? Hell, I can't remember. But anyway, um, they said he told them that he never had lunch with her. Never sat down and had an intimate conversation with her about life and whether they both see each other in the upcoming future and what other endeavors that they want to embark on together or separate. You know, he never spent any Christmases with her, never went to any dinners, nothing. He was just, he showed up for work. They did what they had to do and she went her way and he went his way. So my thing is, Mr. Bird, why would you even expect her to do anything like bringing you on to another show that she was heading up and he said she had went so far to say he had priced himself out so i was like okay that was a nice nasty way to tell her you had made all the money that you were gonna make on her unless you were gonna get a pay cut or something to that degree that she didn't want to be bothered with you so there was no reason the contract had ended what you and her had made on this judge judy you know uh show that you had spent a lot of time with her making money that contract had ended and if you never got an offer or you weren't smart enough to go to her when you because i'm pretty sure you had to hear through the walls through the streets or something that she was heading up another show I mean, I'm, somebody had to give you a clue, Mr. Bird, that something else was happening and you weren't being a part of it. I know, because everybody knows something or someone that likes them. They're going to give them or fill them in on the tea, whether it's good for them to hear or not good. But if it's affecting them, they're going to hear it. So you ain't going to believe, I'm not going to believe that you didn't know something wasn't happening. It's just you weren't man enough to go and say, have a conversation with her, pull her to the side, you know, get on her books to uh, have a conversation with her. She was one of those type of people where she ain't talking to you unless you scheduled in her appointment uh, or you have she have an appointment with you. That's the only way you can get in and see her, which is booty because if y'all sitting up here taping on the show. It's time for you to have a conversation with her. I mean, does she not want you to make eye contact with her? She's one of those type of drama field people where if you're in a room, you can't look at her. Like, girl, shy man, please. But it's a telltale sign, Bird, that she didn't want to be uh, a part of you anymore. She didn't want you to part. She didn't want you to be a part of her gravy train anymore. She had to say it to you. So it's like she was basically saying it without even saying it hopefully that you would get a clue but you didn't then you did not go and do your due diligence and have a conversation say you know um just judy or however you you know address her off the air have that conversation with her about you would like to continue to follow her and pursue whatever endeavor she's pursuing would that be possible you know and then she could have told you no i'm really looking for somebody else because i really don't want to pay that salary that i ended up having not to pay you da -da 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 -da, however she wanted to put it nice nasty or nasty or straight up to the point he would have got the picture and it was it would have been no need for him to come out and put her on blast so like I said, I think he's feeling kind of salty because the offer wasn't extended to him. But if she did not extend an offer for you to share holidays with her, a meager lunch with her, dinners or lunch, you know, just whatever, breakfast, uh, why did you expect she was going to tell you, hey, I'm starting a new show and... I want you to come over. If she never gave you any of those pleasantries, what I mentioned before, if she never included you, Bird, why would you think you would be included in something new and uh, a new endeavor she was going into? So psh, you weren't really smart in that move. And I think your wife pretty much put you up to it to do it and you got your feelings hurt and then your wife got her feelings hurt because now y'all gotta figure out unless you was in signification you can be guaranteed a check but if it's not in signification and you want a part of that extra revenue being kicked off then yeah you're gonna have to live on your social security but you would have been leave, uh, living on that if you never got on the judge judy show as well so 
I don't know where you're going with it, Bird, but let's get into the article. I heard your side on the view, and to me, it was kind of petty. You just because you you can't make people keep you in a position because uh, they feel like they'd have blessed you already 25 years. You know, can help you in 25 years and you about 30 something years. Hell, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to be retired. You're supposed to look out for your own self and spend some time not working anymore. That's what get me with some people that are at true retirement age and they still want to work. I'm like, damn, well, you might, you should stay on your job. You know what I'm saying? Until you just rent yourself dry and crazy or whatnot and then you just had to come off the job. But, if your job is giving you an opportunity to retire and you're at the age where you can draw your full Social Security or at least the majority of it, take it. Life is too short, people. Life is too short. And downsize your life. Uh, scale your lifestyle down to fit the uh, money that you're going to be receiving. Because what's this, what sense does it make to retire and then you go back out there on somebody else's job that you still got to meet their demands you still got to be to work on time regardless of what the traffic or how you feel that day or what, what you feel you might be still sick or whatever but you put yourself in that situation to say i'm gonna quit my normal job my everyday job my job that's been feeding me for x y x y z years and i'm gonna go part-time and i'm gonna retire that's bullshit because if you need something to actually keep you energized keep you feeling young keep you motivated to still be in this world even though you're elderly now and life does change um you need to go volunteer your services you know what i'm saying where you pick and choose the time that you want to get up and you know go help somebody or be a part of somebody to make you still feel like you're among the living because uh, a lot of people that retire, they tend to get lonely, depressed, or whatnot. But my deal is don't retire, okay? Don't retire. Continue to work, okay? Until you're ready to sit your butt down and start smelling the roses and enjoying life, okay? Because, Lord, no, when it's time for me to retire, dang, ooh, girl, I, I might even not work this whole day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what you going to do? Find me, I'll retire. You know what I'm saying? No no, no foul, no harm. You know, no harm, no foul. I'm gone. That's what I plan to do half a day. When it's time for me to retire on my last day, I plan on doing half a day. Not a whole day because I don't want to be in no traffic. I don't want to be in there. I want to get up, be able to get to the job on time, you know, whatever time I'm doing. And I'm going to leave y'all four hours so y'all can shower me with all the love, the appreciation, the adoration, whatever you feel like you want to give me or not. But I'm going to walk out that door half day, you know what I'm saying, so I can go get some sleep or whatever or, or just run them streets i don't know just run them streets okay i said oh thank you jesus for letting me get past my work ethics my work life that i had been doing from 15 because that's when i started working y'all 15 and, and i'm done i'm done now i want to live life i want to be able to go to bed when i want to no time restriction i don't want to be setting no clocks i don't want to be on nobody's schedule where i have to be there at a certain time even though you know doctor's appointments you're still gonna have to do that you're gonna still have to be controlled by you know your medical providers and stuff of that nature because you got to be there you got to have a time you know you got to do this they had to pray for the day you, you okay you understand those things but fit it around your schedule. Don't let them fit it around their schedule. See how that works out when you're retired? Oh, living life. Because money always going to be here. It's going to be here when you live. It's going to be here when you did. So just enjoy the roses, people. When it's time for you to retire, truly retire. Okay? Truly retire. But anyway, we're going into this article that was written up by uh, the Business Insider.com. Uh, Nicole E. e we got Ian Binder wrote it. Okay, she titled it Judge Judy Bailiff Petrie Hawkins Bird said he wasn't asked to present the judge with her Lifetime Achievement Award. When you talk about slight, that gives you an idea. I'm like, did you present it to her prior um she letting you go and find her a new bailiff? Did you get that award then? Did you present it to her? I don't know. You didn't give us much information, Bird. Okay, but it says Petrie, Petrie what does it say, Bird, told Insider he wasn't asked to 
present the judge with a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2019. See, she's been sliding you for about three years now. So what made you, gave you the opportunity to think she's going to take you on to her new endeavors? This was 2019 you're talking about. This is 2021. See where I'm going with this bird? It's like you can't see the forest for the trees. So I'm blaming you for this debacle thus far. Now, if I get into the article, I read a little bit more, maybe I can side with you a little bit more. But you, you can't always put your bad, your eggs in one basket. You got to spread them out, bird. Everybody's not going to be as loyal as you loyal to them. As you can say, as you can see, you never were showered uh, with love, adoration. She never invited you anywhere uh, to her personal family gatherings or anything that she didn't tr she didn't see you like that bird you may have saw her but the, it was a reciprocated baby it was reciprocated so then we go on back into the article and um it says so that gives you an idea of you know when you talk about slight that gives you an idea he said bird revealed last month that he wasn't asked to join uh just judy shinland's new imdb tv show judy justice Okay, Reader's Insider's full investigations to accusations of dysfunctional on the Judge Judy here. It says Judge Judy Shindlin, longtime bailiff, Mr. Bird, told Insider in a recent interview that the show staffer were surprised he wasn't asked to present, you know, Judy with the war. Um, <clears throat> Bird didn't even sit with Shindlin's during the ceremony. Okay, he said. So, see, Bird, we got... We got it in black and white, and you actually experienced it. So I don't understand how you felt slighted by Judge Judy. She treated you like the help, pretty much. You know, if we were back on the plantation time, you would be out there in the field. And if she saw, you know, because of your color, if she saw better in you, she probably brought you in, you know, in the house, be a house, you know, whatever. But she just saw you as the help the driver the chauffeur the person to uh, make her meals the sh chef she didn't see you as a family she, what she really didn't bird so i'm kind of confused i think your wife set you up for the okie doke to get embarrassed but that's another here nor there just my opinion going back to the article it said Bird didn't even sit with Shindlin during the ceremony, he said. Instead, while Shindlin and her executive producer, Randy Dohead, sat about five or six rows back from the stage, he was seated 15 or 20 rows back with the producers. Well, see, hell, you were back there with some of the producers, so you were still in line with the group. Okay, you just, I mean... <laughs> You weren't doing anything, basically, Bird, but passing her folders or cases she had to review and, and um, what do you call it, uh, judge on, rule on. So, I don't know why, you know, this is like you doing the makeup for an artist ready to go out there and get their Grammy or whatever, and they don't um, tell everybody who made your face up. You know, who styled you. You know what I'm saying? They probably say they team, but that's probably all you would get unless you were really an intricate part of the show. You were a helper. Okay, no more, no less, Mr. Bird. But that's my um, take on it going back. Uh, he said he was seated 15 or 20 rows back with the producers. Amy Perlar ultimate ultimately presented the award okay so that gives you an idea of when you talk about slight it gives you an idea he told insider according to shinley it was um paylor who had called the television academy and asked if she could present the judge with the award she is a huge fan shinley told insider in a statement okay but according to bird he ran into polar a few months later and she was equally confused by his exclusion at the ceremony while handling or while handing out the award Prula like coming i wish bird your bailiff could hand you this award the way we hand you photos in court or where where he hands you photos in court not making eye contact with the queen he has sworn to protect so i'm like what was the whole deal of not making no eye contact with her? who judge you think she is honey god she thinks she god Okay, I, I don't know. I understand. Because I'm telling you, I ain't never too much care for Judge Judy. She kind of scared me in a way, you know what I'm saying? Even though I wasn't even being rude on her or, you know, getting sentenced by her. 
just on the TV screen, she, I like, I don't like her. You know, just them eyes and her smart mouth. I'm like, girl, if any of them uh, people that you sentence could catch you in a dark alley somewhere, girl, you talking about the one, two, three, four work, the one, two combination, girl. So, um, anyway, she was confused. Bird was confused, but Judy wasn't confused on what she did. Uh, but anyway, and the eye contact, no eye contact, I don't understand what that is. That's just, uh -uh, that don't make no sense right now. But going back to the article, it said the revelation of this apparent snub follows last month news that Bird wasn't asked to join the judge at her new venture. Uh, Judy Justice, which launched on Monday on IMDb TV. Okay. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Bird said he didn't know Shenlin was producing a new show until she announced it during an appearance last year on the Ellen De DeGeneres show. I never slighted her. I always thought of her as a friend. See, there you go, Bird. Uh, look how a person treats you, okay? The actions of a person and how they treat you is who they are. Don't differentiate, don't separate, don't give them a pass. Whatever they show you, that's them, bird. That's them. And you older than me, you should know this, man. But anyway, going back to the article. Um, as she said it before, that we're friends. No, bird, she probably said that. But sometimes words get lost in translation. That means uh, she's cordial towards you. You're her staff. She see you as such. And if you say hey to her, she say hey. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, let me see. I always thought of her as, as a friend. And she said it before that we're friends. Bird told Insider. I'm like, then I guess I have to ask you to define your definition of friend. It might be a little different from mine. Well, no, Bird. Because actions speak louder than words. And... Some words in conversation gets lost in translation. <sighs> okay, that's a word. That's a gem I'm dropping for you, bird. Hopefully you'll get it. If it missed you, then just let it fly. Let it fly, bird. And go on into retirement. And you and your wife do whatever y'all can do on a budget, okay? A budget balling. Buller, uh, a budget baller. That's what y'all need to be. Instead of riding on Judge Judy's coattail, because she said she gave you 25 plus. And if you ain't saved your coins, you ain't invest well, it's not her fault. Okay, you can't travel with her everywhere she got to go. She took you to one plateau to the next, and now she has to, you know, leave you there. Let you see what you can do for yourself. And, you know, because it affords you a lot of opportunities if you got the right agent, if you got the right PR person, they supposed to open up other doors for you because you became a household name with Judge Judy. Everybody know you. Everybody know you. They know what you were doing. So you're known out there because you definitely did some work on um, one of the soap operas. You were a fish in uh, some wedding or whatnot. Of, uh, that, what is it? Bold and the Beautiful with Steffi and whoever she was marrying at that particular scene or episode or you know, whatever, in the soap opera world. So you were getting other things from the show and the recognition from being on the show. But your agent is the one that's supposed to keep you booked and busy. Your agent, because he's getting a percentage or she's getting a percentage from uh, you doing these things. So unless you don't have one and your wife is solely doing it for you, then that's her fault because... Just because Judy didn't want you, other avenues should have worked out for you. Just like you were on The View talking about, you know, Judge, had, Judge Judy had uh, slighted you, you know, and talking to those people. Hey, you could have guest starred or something. Hell, you should go to Wendy Williams if you can get a shot because she letting all men for this week host her show. So, I mean, it's just who you know, who you're going to link up with, what you're willing to do. If you're sacrificing yourself or money and position, then, you know, it's some things you got to do. Got to do some things. Got to do some things, Bert. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Going back to the article, it says, Bert spoke with Insider as part of a broader investigation into Judge Judy. Interviews with 16 former employees and a review of thousands of pages of court documents, records, reveal multiple claims of sexual harassment going on back in to the early 2000s, as well as allegations of drinking during work hours. Okay, so now, I don't know. Bird, you trying to bark up a tree that you might not have 
enough leg to stand on now. You trying to, you know, get with Judge Judy. She know people, man. She know people. Her money run deep. Your money run short. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Back up. Back up now. But he's telling people that formal employees that used to work around the set with Judy, they got grievances uh, for sexual harassment and all this other stuff going on. And, you know, he's just bringing light to it. I'm like, what What are you, what are you doing, Bird? What are you doing? You're looking like more of a disgruntled employee than anything else because you didn't come out and say nothing prior while you were taping on the show of these grievances of sexual harassment or, uh, you know, she's drinking and, and staying off of things. You know, this is just my opinion. Ain't none of my business, but I'm just saying everything ain't looking kosher for you. Everything is not looking kosher. Okay, it says, uh, read inside his full investigation here. Judge Judy was plagued by sexual harassment claims, drinking on the job, and racism. Former employees say they worry the new $25 million Amazon streaming show would be more of the same. Well, again, you know, why worry about something you're not involved with? I would. If you had a case pending against her, just let the cookies roll how they are. You have a a case that you're gonna have come towards her uh on the basis of she didn't what do you call it um uh, put you on on another show that she was on um because it's pretty much gonna say it's gonna make you look like a disgruntled employee because you were saying that you both or she said to you you were her friend and you were saying to us and her, you were her friend, and you ate off her plate for 25 plus years. And now just because you didn't get the green light to come and sign a contract and be with her and her other endeavor, now you're going to feel some kind of way? I don't know, Bird. I don't know. I don't know. It could just be you and not just you. I'm not saying all this other stuff that's being claimed against her. But you're not making a claim. You're saying what other people have experienced. Because you're, you're telling us you had a very good relationship until it came where she was embarking on another adventure. And you weren't a part of her boat, her crew. You weren't her dog anymore. She said, up there and got somebody new, younger. And she probably don't have to pay a third of what she was paying you for your services. So, Mr. Bird, I rule... It's inconclusive. Inconclusive is what I rule. And hey, others may feel a little different, but that's just what I see and I hear. All right. But that's all I have for this video, guys. If y'all like it, like it, love it, gotta have more, come on over and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I be dropping gems and when I be dropping new videos that y'all can partake of, okay? But as always in party, don't forget to share my videos. Don't forget to like my videos. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.